everyone, there has been so much fuss around WordPress and Wix rivalry that we also decided to see what the difference between these two looks like. We're gonna compare them according to four criteria. Pricing, design, feature set and the ease of use. WordPress is open source and totally free to use, you will need to purchase a hosting plan and a domain name. You can use free ones, of course, but nobody guarantees their quality. On average, a hosting plan by a trusted hosting provider can make up to 3 bucks a month, while a domain name may cost you 5, 10, 20 or 30 dollars depending on the register, the validity period, the extension you choose, etc. You can pay for a domain every 1, 3 or 5 years or buy it once. It means that the minimum sum you put on the table while dealing with WordPress is around 40 something dollars a year. With Wix, you can also start for free if you don't mind branded Wix ads on your website and a subdomain Wix.com. In case you don't want your site to look cheap, Wix offers you premium plans that go along with a custom domain name, hosting, and a bunch of other services and features you may want. With WordPress, you don't need to pay for those additional features since you can install tons of free plugins. So, providing that you chose the most popular plan, which is $12.50 per month, an annual fixed subscription will cost you $150. Well, you can tell the difference yourself. Next, let's compare the premium design options the platforms offer. With WordPress, you can pick any of hundreds of thousands free and premium themes that you can get on any of those digital marketplaces, such as Template Monster, which has been selling WordPress themes since 2002 and has made over 3 million website owners happy with their website designs. Plus, with drag-and-drop page builders such as Elementor, page creation and customization became easy as never before. Wix offers you over 500 premium templates that you can customize within a simple drag-and-drop editor. But the major disadvantage is that once you have chosen a template, you can never change it to another one. While with WordPress, you can install as many themes as you want. Talking about the feature set, it goes without saying that with WordPress, you can create any type of website, from a portfolio to a fully functional web store. With over 45,000 free plugins, you can add pretty much any feature you can think of. Wix allows you to create a simple blog, a small store, and add a forum. The extensions it offers are pretty basic, and I would say that they are not able to provide the functionality you need to power a decent business website. WordPress is quite easy to work with by itself, meaning it's easy for anyone to learn. Plus, WordPress has been around for quite a long time now, and every day new tutorials and tips are being posted. There is probably no corner of WordPress dashboard that has not been explored yet. And don't forget that Template Monster also provides technical support for their WordPress themes. So don't worry, if you need help, you're definitely gonna find it. Wix is also quite intuitive and provides you with an extremely friendly interface and a website editor. If you search, you can also find tutorials and guides on how to use it. Surprisingly, the gap between WordPress and Wix turned out to be pretty big. But I still leave it to you to decide what you need. But let me give you a little bit of advice. If you need a website for your business, go with WordPress. If you want to make a site for your grandma to sell her new sweaters, purchase Wix subscription plans. That's all for now. See you!